So babes, welcome back to my channel. I actually took off my nails, so do not mind them. They look so freaking disgusting right now. You guys can probably see in the background, I haven't even made my bed. I don't even make my bed these days because that's just like... Anyways, um, before we get started with the video though, I want to thank Anna Luisa for sending me two pieces for Mother's Day, you guys. I love Anna Luisa. Number one, they're super affordable. Their pieces start at $39 and up. They don't do like the luxury markups. You're still getting quality, but you're not paying this like overly gouged price. So I chose these two pieces for my mom. She loves, loves, loves hoop earrings, and she's a really big jewelry person to be honest with you. I also love the little tiny case that it comes with, you guys. This case can also be reused. They're also very sustainable by the way. So they actually offset 100% of their carbon emissions with their jewelry. I love that the pouch is already kind of dressed. So all you have to do is find a little cute bag or a little cute bow or tiny box and just put them back in here. You guys can get 15% off of any of their products. Make sure you guys click my link down below in the description box. They're having a huge Mother's Day sale, but this is not just for Mother's Day. If you want to pick up something for yourself, someone that you care about, if you want to make someone's day better with everything going on, you again, super affordable starting at 30 and nine dollars and up there's honestly something for everybody's budget thank you so much Anna Luisa for sending me these pieces you want to come to mommy okay first sit yes that's proper manners good girl good girl say hi to the guys this is my princesa amor de mi vida say hello say hello my love what do you want here there's nothing here for you no don't pay attention to him he's a bad dog no barking She's such a mommy's girl, you guys. Obviously, because it's just me and her here, so she's getting like super clingy. I'm gonna say, I used a ton of iconic products on my face too, and oh my god, you guys, I'm freaking in love. Like, they just randomly sent it to me. Iconic London, just regular gloss. I think this is coconut something. Um, really, really, really nice on the lips, you guys. It's not sticky. It's very creamy, nice and thick. It's not too thin where it's like wearing off too easily. I have been loving this gloss. And that's all I have on my lips right now is just a lip liner and a little bit of this. So I also got these two lipsticks from Sephora. One of the ones I got was definitely my, I love this freaking lipstick so much. Um, no regrets. Ah, 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 ah. No, no pause on the counter. Good girl, stay. So no regrets is one of the ones I got. I love their cream lipsticks, but the only thing with cream lipsticks, as you guys know, is that they don't last very long on the lips because they're very creamy right but i got no regrets and then i'll have to confirm the other color that i got because this is not easy to read it's freaking small these were the ones that i actually have on my face right now the iconic london this is a cream blush and then this is a cream like bronzer basically this one says sheer blush nope you lost the privilege lay down caramel glow on my cheeks and oh my god you guys it was so easy to blend and so easy to apply and then this one is the Rose Riot that I used as a bl Actually, no, did I use the Rose? Oh, no, shit, I didn't use the Rose one. I used uh, Cheeky Coral because I kind of like my blush to be a little bit more on the warm peachy side. On my lid, I used another one of their cream bronzers just to kind of like um, make it look really almost like skin and kind of blend out what I did. I was going to say Beacon Vibes, Beach Vibes on my eyelids um, because this is too light for me to bronze with. It wouldn't really show but oh my god you guys what i did was i just kind of put it on like this and i keep forgetting to freaking film my makeup routine i know your pp dance go pp because this routine was new that's why i kind of was just like oh let me try things when i'm trying things i don't really like to i don't know i just like to be in the moment i have to do this routine that i did because i really really like it it probably looks the same as what i normally do but it's honestly not um because i use completely new products so yeah, I definitely, definitely love these. First time, oh my god, first time I used them, I was like swatching them on my um, hands, but so freaking good. So I just did a line and a line and I actually put some up here too. And then I just grabbed like kind of, not like a dense brush, but you honestly can, but I just like the very feathered kind of look. So I chose the brush like that and I kind of just actually on the smaller side because my face is not really big, so I don't like to use like a big brush for bronzing. But I just kind of like, it blends you guys and I have freaking bad dry skin. Well, not like really bad right now, but like I don't have oily skin. Like it's more on the dry side. It blended so freaking nice. And I have um, tinted moisturizer on right now. This is not really foundation. But oh my God, it blended so nice. And I was like, oh, a cream bronzer that actually blends really nicely. Sometimes, most of the time, they can kind of be a little bit patchy because I feel like for dry skin, the product can't be cakey. It can't be heavy. This is very lightweight and very thin. So I feel like that's what just allowed. I don't know. It was just so nice. And then with the blush, I did like a little X. You can do whatever. You can do like a little dot. 
grabbed a blush brush and just mixed it and it's not heavily pigmented where like you put a little dot and it's like so freaking pink as you guys can tell it's just natural i don't, know, I don't even know if you guys can tell but the other thing i got from my sephora order so i just got this these two lipsticks and then i got this which is just an eye crayon I love eye crayons because I just use them a lot. Water oh, this is waterproof. I didn't know that. This one is color. Where does it have a number? Like, am I blind or something? It's a dark taupe color. Oh, dark taupe 22. So, um, it's really, really, really pretty. At first, I put it, like, as a liner. I feel like it might be... I don't know, as a liner, I'll have to see. Since it says waterproof, maybe I just need to let it dry a little bit. Um, because it's very easy to smudge too, but like I said, maybe it just needs to sit a little bit It's such a pretty color. This is something I would just use on the edges just to give me that like winged liner kind of look But still soft and sultry so I love that and it is on the thicker side instead of being on the skinny side So I feel like you can get that simple wing with like one or two strokes instead of like having to Keep going with the thin one also from iconic like I said they sent these to me so I use this right now on my face just gives you a little bit of a glow the shimmer makes you feel like summer's here But it's not makes you feel like you're in LA, but you're not Yeah, so that's what that does. Um, it also sent me this illuminator sometimes with illuminators I feel like a disco ball, but um, I think I'm just gonna put a little tiny drop and I do love glowy dewy skin But I feel like with my skincare underneath my face. I already get that but I have not tested it So I can't really say anything about it this is the next thing that I got. This literally just came in today, you guys. So this actually looks a little bit more on the camel side. Like, it kind of looks more like this color back here. Um, but it kind of came a little bit more on the nudey, kind of pinky side. Obviously, you guys can see. These are freaking comfortable. You see this over here? It's very bouncy. It's not rough. You see how I can do that? The only thing is that these two pieces are separate. So when you're putting your foot in... You kind of have to do a little bit of a wiggle to get like your foot really situated so that these two can stay in place. What I'm going to do, a little hack I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little sew right over here in the center to hold them so that when I slip my foot in, you just slip it in and you're not having to be like, okay, let me adjust both straps. I think the, and it's shedding a little bit, but I think the shedding is just for a while because it's not shedding as a whole. But um, holy crap, this freaking sole is like, it feels like you're just bouncing on a cloud. It's so freaking soft. But they have this one where it's just one thing like this. I'm pretty sure it's the same company. I'll leave everything down below. By the way, speaking of that, before I forget to mention, now for my Canadian babes, I finally have my favorites Amazon page for my Canadian side and my American side. So a lot of the times I post the American favorites page and that's all I've had. So I finally created it. So I'll leave it down below for you guys. I'll put Amazon US favorites, Amazon like Canada favorites so you guys can see. Because I don't shop from .com, I shop from D uh, CA, obviously. They also have this one where it's like just one strap, but I kind of, you guys actually voted that you liked this one better. And I think I do too, to be honest, a little crisscross. But these are really great for right now when I'm going on walks with Nyla, because you just put your foot in and you just go out the door. Plus, it's my kind of color, um, color vibes and everything. Keeps your feet still warm for like the springtime, but then your foot is still kind of open. So yeah, I recommend these, okay? Somebody said I got them and I didn't like them or they weren't comfortable and I'm like, girl, these are hella comfortable. So love those. So yeah, this sweatshirt is one of the ones that I got from a Nasty Gal. I got this in a small and I don't know if all these will still be available, but I will link them for you guys. And I do still have a code with them. I don't know how long that's active for, but I'll leave it down below. The other thing I got was this sweatshirt, which will look really super cute. Now get your ball which will look really super cute with this. You see where I get these because they just go with everything I have. So I got this kind of like bleached tie-dye kind of crew neck from them. I also got this in a, it says US 8, but it's an oversized sweatshirt. So that'd be like a, an 8 is a 4 though. Why did I get that? Unless it comes in small and it's just saying a number. But anyways, it's really freaking cute, you guys. I haven't tried it on yet, but I know it's going to fit. It's just a crew neck. Feels really good quality. Some of you guys were asking me about the quality of Nasty Gal. I really like their quality, to be honest with you. Um, and I feel like the money matches like what you're getting type of thing. You know what I mean? This crew neck I was not happy with because it literally shows the girl wearing like a cream white crew neck. And that's why I got it. And it came like a buttercup yellow. So I was just like, what happened here? Like, I don't know what the hell happened. 
um it's cute but like my number one like color i don't like would probably be orange and yellow so i don't know i don't know i just i can't see myself wearing this maybe i'll try to do like a fit out of it i don't know but it kind of has like a wash look and just keep in mind if you do like this color it's not going to be cream it's going to be this color and it says california los angeles 1994 but yeah i was just like what's that yellow sweatshirt in my package i did not order that y'all trying to keep a dog busy like while you're trying to film is the same as keeping a child busy like holy man it's like i'm trying to like pull my tricks out of my hat and trying to figure out like okay what else can i do to keep her busy it's like now she's playing with a strawberry that has like a like a little slow feeder at the top the last item didn't work out either you guys because they're jeans and y'all already know with jeans it's such a pain in the ass sometimes sometimes but i will say i've never had like um jeans not fit from them when you're like should i get this size or should i get that size i i don't know but usually i'm a six from them so maybe it's just how this one is but i think it's just how the top is but they're really super cute but they are long i don't know if i chose tall or something but they have the little slide uh, slide the side slit at the bottom that i kind of wanted but they're super long on me you guys like it's almost as if i have to cut off where the slit is um but they don't fit like i would literally have to lose like another good like seven pounds for this thing to fit me so yeah i mean i could keep them but like i said this like the bottom of them just don't i don't know maybe i will keep them but yeah unfortunately these didn't fit but i placed two orders from h&m two orders i got a cardigan and i also got jeans from them but it's a stretch cotton and i've actually been having good luck with h&m jeans the ones that you guys always see me in on my ig page is literally one pair every single time because i freaking love those jeans i've never ever ever had good luck with h&m jeans and those ones are fire they have similar ones um so i'll leave a link for you guys and i love them but those ones actually don't have any stretch but apparently the new ones i ordered they are supposed to have a cotton stretch kind of feel to them i decided to get a bucket hat because i know they're super trendy right now i do not like hats i don't feel like i look good in hats nyla it's over there yes good girl you got it i just don't like hats i don't feel like i look good in them but you guys i cannot stand like i love the sun to make you feel good and everything but i freaking hate when it's like on me especially on my face i get burned very 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 easily so it's probably not gonna look good if i have my ponytail I'm probably gonna look like a fisherman um but it looks so freaking cute on ig let me put my hair down and let me show you guys what it looks like it looks hella cute girl like watch yourself girl who says i can't wear hats like girl like look how cute this is okay girl <laughs> lockdown who i'm just joking um i'm gonna play like a lot of lockdown jokes but anyways um now i just messed up my hair oh my god speaking of hair i have so much shit to tell you guys i don't even know where the hell to start i tried the matrix um something dark envy dark envy green shampoo to like tone your hair yeah i took footage of before and after i personally think it did jack for my hair like absolutely nothing blue is literally for like orangey hair like i do you guys see this like it's still dark so technically blue won't do anything on this this is considered a medium dark brown like if not fully dark so I would need green technically. The only bad thing you guys is that they don't have this beige in that link anymore. I don't know if it like obviously sold out clearly. Maybe I got the last one, but some of you guys ordered it too. So maybe you guys got the last one that they had, but I'll leave the link again. It sometimes usually like pops up once they restock it, but so, so, so freaking cute you guys. Yeah, I'm so over this freaking hair. And one of you were like, are you gonna keep the, are you gonna dye your hair this color? Cause like it looks so good on you. I'm like, hell to the all like i freaking i can't even tell you guys how uh, uh, uh. um i can't even tell you guys how much i freaking hate this hair color like i just want my natural hair color to just grow out so i can at least live with my hair absolutely no i will not be dyeing my hair this color i hate warm tones i want to be like neutral and then a little bit more on the cooler side the other thing i got you guys was this set i had so many different types of treat bags um for nyla and I love that this one comes with different sizes because some bags, they have larger pieces. So for example, her bully sticks are inside of here because they're longer. 
And then I have her chicken breast pieces. I love when she goes in her bed. She just grabbed her bunny that I got her for Easter. She's so funny. I love when she plays by herself because I'm just like, yes, independent girl. I'm raising an independent girl, you guys. Like, watch this though. So this is for her chicken breast pieces. This is 100% chicken breast. Also, Nyla has a, um, I actually changed the name of it. It's Dog Favorites because it has like everything that she kind of uses, everything she loves, everything I've gotten for her that we like. If I don't like it and I've gotten it, it's not in there, okay? So just keep that in mind. Paige, if you guys have your own puppy or dog at home and you guys want to try what she loves, she has an Amazon section on my page. So yeah, I wanted some taller ones because as you guys can see, this one needs to be taller. They're her sweet potato pieces. I break it up because I don't let her have like the big ass pieces. And then her beef liver treats. These are her little zooks that I cut up into four pieces for training. They're really great for like rewarding them really kind of small. And then freeze dried chicken that she absolutely loves. It also came with a really super tall one, which I'm gonna be keeping all of her slow feeder balls inside of there and stuff like that. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is the other tall one it came with. Um, this wouldn't be very practical for me to keep her kibble because you can't like, I just feel like it's just not practical, but it's absolutely perfect for her slow feeder balls inside of here. So I also got her these guys that came in a two pack. These are really, oh, echo, echo, watch yourself. Um, wow, I'm so funny. They're really great for mental stimulation, you guys, to keep your dogs busy, especially because we're at home and there's not really much you can kind of do outside except for like walk and stuff like that um you can i don't i don't think you can go to dog park i haven't brought her to a dog park i'm just like not there yet but anyways i got her these really great for mental stimulation also really great for um slow feeding them having to work for their food just makes it last so that they're not like gobbling up their meals and stuff like that you can put treats to keep them busy while you're doing stuff or you can keep their breakfast in here and have them like Play around with it roll it around and take their time kind of eating it and then i also got her a sniff mat which um is up here me falling off this kitchen island chair um i also got her this sniff mat i'll show you little previews of her like using it and i also got her a silicone lick mat which is what she was licking up before when i started filming she was licking frozen um yogurt that i kind of paste on there the lick mats are also really good for putting inside of the bathtub when you guys are bathing them you can put them on the floor that's what i do if you find they're kind of like really restless the licking is supposed to be very relaxing and it's also a slow feeder because they can't just get the food right there and then they have to lick for it and stuff while you're grooming them you can stick them to the counter person who's been giving me a lot of tips and actually helped me out choosing things like this because i just needed to keep her busy and i don't want her to not be mentally stimulated she's so freaking smart you guys and she's so quick um was actually the giveaway winner's mommy um her name is maria luisa she we've just been like chatting so much about our dogs like our little fur babies because they're everything to us and we just kind of go back and forth and talk about what she likes, what I like, and just things that we like have gotten for our dogs. So she helped me out. So shout out to you, girl, if you're watching this. I got so much shit. So actually today I'm supposed to be getting two other things. I got replacement grass things for her thing. I got her lamb treats and I also got her this puzzle thing. Oh, it's, oh my God, it's at my door. I'm freaking dead. She's supposed to also work for her food. You put the food in there and she has to figure out how to open up those little things. And it's so interesting, you guys, seeing your dog like try to figure this out and just seeing how smart they are because they're so nose driven, right? So they're like, I know something's in there, but how do I get it, right? And it's just so important during this time and not just like letting them play with stuffed toys, like push their mind, you know what I mean? I want her to still, because she's so smart, I don't want to like downplay that. Good girl! My mama is so smart. Clearly, clearly my girl's intermediate. Like, watch yourself. So this is how everything is currently in here, you guys. I showed you guys before I have her food over there. I have her salmon oil. And I just put all of the little treat bags inside of here because it was just such a mess. Extra products are up there, but I'm going to kind of reorganize this and see um, how I can make it more practical, especially because throughout the day I'm like constantly in here grabbing things and then these two are my stuff but I'm going to do this one over here for extra stuff for her and I'm gonna have to move those things somewhere else for me because I'm not really reaching in here a lot I would be reaching for her stuff more than what I have in here 
So I'm going to reorganize this. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a really quick um, recipe that I'm making right now. So we're gonna be making a teriyaki chicken meal, basically inspired by, I believe it's called Teriyaki Express. I haven't been there in years to be honest, but I always used to grab their teriyaki chicken. Sometimes I would get their beef one. So you get the cold slaw bag, right? And it comes with all of these veggies. But I did add some green pepper, which they do add, and they also add some um, broccoli. I'm using some of the VH soy sauce, which is my favorite. And I got this teriyaki sauce one time when I placed a grocery order. Actually quite low cal, 15 milliliter is only 20 calories. So I have some water, some of the teriyaki sauce because it's too thick, and a little bit of soy sauce. You can do straight teriyaki if you want, if you like it thick, but it was a little bit too much for me. And then over here I have one filet of a chicken breast that we're going to be using. And then over here I have my jasmine rice. Of course I'm using a jasmine. All I've added is some water so that it can start steaming. I put two little tiny spoons of the teriyaki sauce. So our veggies are almost done you guys. And one thing I, that's actually key I forgot to mention is I actually have this on high. So yeah, these are basically almost done you guys. Okay, we've added our chicken to this. I've actually sprayed a little bit of olive oil and I have also put some water to steam the chicken. Still keeping it on medium high. Yes, and put a little bit of the teriyaki sauce so the chicken gets a little bit of flavor. You hey guys, this is the finished product. How good does this look? It actually tastes so freaking good. I cannot believe how quick and easy this is. Make sure you guys make this at home. You guys can also do it with beef or tofu, whatever it is that you like. And, and I also add a little bit of soy sauce on top of my rice. I forgot to show you guys how I ended up organizing this. So this is what it looks like now. So much better, so much more. Like I can see everything. Whereas before it was like bags on bags on bags. So up here I have her slow feeding um, sniff mat, slow feeder balls and stuff like that. And then I have her treats over here. And these are stackable, which is amazing. I have small to larger, obviously, and I was able to put those two on top of each other. And then her food is still here, her salmon oil is back there, and then in this basket, I ended up putting her little puzzle that I just got for her. Um, and then I have like all the extra kind of toys, at, and I also put the drawer inside of here, extra treats and stuff like that. So it's a lot more organized, and I feel so much better now, and I can breathe. So that's basically it for this video. Make sure you guys do not forget to check out Anna Luisa down below. Use my link. You guys will get 15% off if you want to pick up something for your mom, for Mother's Day, for yourself, or someone that would love a new piece of jewelry. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys do it. Click the bell to get notified for all my brand new videos and follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo. I'm going to go eat this up. I'm so tired and I'm really happy that I filmed today because tomorrow I can edit this and get it up on a Monday for you guys. Make sure you guys stay safe and just take care of yourselves and whatever the restrictions are wherever you're living, just try to find ways to bring yourself up and make yourself feel happy. For me, it's just taking walks, getting some fresh air. Yeah, that's all, you know, us here. That's all we can really do currently right now, but some of y'all living your best life and you know what? I wish I could too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.